So you have an Android TV device, maybe the Chromecast with Google TV like me, or maybe the cheaper Dynalink box, or maybe the Xiaomi Mi box, or even the Nvidia Shield. Just like our Amazon Fire TV devices, these Android TV devices can also be tweaked, can also be optimized, so you really can just get the best performance from them. So in this video today, let me show you three quick things that you can apply to any Android TV device to firstly speed up the device and also free up memory, which is always a contention point with buffering issues. And finally, how we can optimize the storage on these devices. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the Chromecast with Google TV. But as I mentioned at the start of this video, you can follow this process on any other Android TV device. Let's do the first part. Let's go over to settings. Let's go down to system. Let's click on about. Let's scroll down. And where it says the build number, we want to press the select button on the remote seven times. So let's do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get the message that you're now a developer. I can now press the back button on the remote. I can now scroll down and we can see we have a new hidden menu called developer options. Let's open that up. Now as a word of warning guys, you can make some serious catastrophic changes to your device by messing about with the things in here. So if you don't know what you're doing, then please don't make any changes. But for us, we can scroll down. And what we're looking for here are three options all regarding the UI performance. Here they are. So we have the Windows animation scale. We have transition animation scale and we have the animated duration scale. Now by default, they're set to one times, which means whatever time is set to, you know, for the transition effect or for the animation, that's the default time. Now if I click on that, we can see, for example, I can turn it down to half, so that'll be twice as fast. Or in my example, I'm going to turn the animations off because although they do look nice, I'm looking for maximum performance. So for that, let's click on off. That's now off. Let's do the same for transition. Now the duration scale, this is one of the key ones guys, because if I click on that, let's say for example, instead of one times, we set it to five times. So now the animation of that screen going back to the previous screen is taking five times as long, just so you can see what that actually means. Now if I turn that off, we can see it's instantaneous. The only slight bug with that is guys, if you leave that as off, it messes about with the mouse toggle inside downloader. So for this one, I actually recommend you leave that as 0.5. So still much snappier than before, as we can see. But it means it won't affect any other application. So now that we have those three things as off, if I press back on the remote, we can just see guys, that just feels so much snappier than before. If I press the home key, because now our device, our Chromecast is not waiting for those animations to complete. So wherever it needs to load, it pretty much loads instantaneously. So that's definitely instantly much faster than before, as you can see, guys. Okay, so that's the first part. Let's now go over to my website. So let's open up Downloader. See, guys, I mean that you're not waiting for the animation. So as soon as I click on application, it's just ready to go, guys. So definitely to give a thumbs up for that. Okay, let's go to my website. So I can click here now, and I can just say Tech Doctor UK. Let's click on Go. Let's click on the first link. Let's click on the hamburger menu and let's click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how to speed up your Android TV device. Let's open that up. Here we are, so let's scroll down. Here we have the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can enable those developer options and make those tweaks to those animation scale settings. And just underneath all of that, we should see three links. The first application in the list is Exilia, which is a great application which will show you your current CPU and memory utilization. Now, the key thing with memory is, especially on these streaming devices, when your device starts running low on memory, that's typically when you start seeing buffering issues on your application. So we can now use this application and see exactly what's going on on our device. The second application is the background apps and monitor list. And yes, that is an ice cream van outside. This application will show you all of those background processes running in the background and give you the ability to stop them. And when you stop these processes, 
that's how you free up memory on your device and the last application we have in the list is SD made a great application to clear out all of your temporary files your junk files your cache files and really just speed up your device let's get the first one let's click on that scroll down and click on the green download button once you've installed that let's press back on the remote let's now install the background apps monitor click on download and install that and lastly installed SD made once you've installed all three applications on your device let's now press the home key so before we do anything let's check our current free memory on our device and we can see as a starting point before making any changes my Chromecast has round about 470 megs of free memory. So what can we do to improve that? Well, let's press the home key. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag ATV, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. So that's how much free memory that the device currently has. Let's now open up this application and let's actually find out what's running in the background consuming all of that valuable memory. Let's open that up and we can see I have 18 applications running in the background even though I'm not actually using these applications right now. So how do we close them? Well, we can see at the top here, we have the option to close all apps. Let's click on that. And this will take you to the settings of each of those applications and allow you to force stop them. So let's click on force stop, click on okay, then press the back button. Here we have Plex, no idea why that's running. Click on full stop again. Okay, press back again. You get the idea guys. Let me just speed this up so I can show you the results. Okay, so I've closed most of those applications down. Let's now press the back button. And let's have a look now exactly how much free memory we have on our device. Let's click on that. And we have over 860 megs of free memory on our Chromecast now, guys. So you'll just definitely get a much better experience in any application when you have more free memory available. So let's back out of that. And lastly, let's open up SD Made. And this will then do a quick scan showing you what can be freed up. We can see I don't have much to clear down on my device, but if you've been using your device for a while, if you've been installing lots of different applications, then regularly using SD Made is a great way to do some housekeeping on your device just to make sure your device is running as lean as possible. Let's click on Run Now. Click on Run Again. And now then remove the junk from your system. So let's press the Home key. And that's pretty much it, guys. We now have a, a faster device. It has a lot more free memory and all of those junk files have now been removed. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for tips and tweaks on how we can really optimize our Android TV devices. So I do hope you like this video. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.